The best business in the world is one that makes a good return on its capital and can reinvest at the same or better rate as time goes by. That's a compounding machine which creates great wealth over time. Time here is a concept worth hitting again. Clearly, many successful financial operators have done very well by buying businesses at attractive prices, improving their performance, and selling them for even more attractive prices. There are probably a lot of classes and people here focused on how to do that. What I'm talking about here is the rare case of something compounding year after year after year. Clearly, Berkshire Hathaway stands as the current best example of a business that did this for decades. Before Berkshire, Henry Singleton, who Buffett cites as a role model, did the same thing at Teledyne. A noted money manager in Houston, Texas, named Fayez Serafim, was an early investor in Teledyne. People kept asking him, what is the next Teledyne? Serafim was famous for responding, the next Teledyne is Teledyne. That sort of multi-decade compounding is what I'm talking about here when I talk about the reinvestment dynamics that describe the very best kind of business. The second best kind of business is one that makes good returns on its capital, but really can't reinvest the earnings due to the nature of the market they serve. Think of a high-end restaurant where the owner works there all the time. It may be a wonderful business, but sometimes the worst thing a business like that can do is try to grow and open the second, third, and fourth locations. Those sorts of businesses tend to require an owner's touch and normally cannot grow in the same way as a McDonald's could following a formula to punch out restaurant after restaurant after restaurant. Investing in the second kind of business is fine. You just need to know what you are getting into and to, to expect your return to come from dividends and returns of capital rather than reinvestment compounding. The worst kind of business in the world is one that doesn't make very good returns on capital, but needs more of it all the time. We call those airlines and try to make sure we don't invest in that sort of thing at all. <laughs>